Shalom. Let us say our praises due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mekah, Kodesh, the bonds, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson. The house of Judah and Israel were oppressed together. Um, I'm gonna uh, base it, you know, upon, uh, you know, the tribes, you know, uh, starting with the, you know, with Judah, the house of Judah, you know, which would be uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, which would be uh, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, and you Haitians, you know, uh, who are here in the West, you know, and uh, also uh, the, the the northern tribes, which have been, uh, you know, which would be so-called Ephraim, all the way down to Mexico, uh, like the Mexicans, right? This is just gonna be a quick lesson. One second. Yeah, this is gonna be a short, hopefully a short video flown in the spirit with the Raka Kodash, you know, which has been the Holy Spirit that's gonna guide me. Um, don't really have nothing written down, but this is just a uh, couple of things that I noticed, you know, because uh, when, let's get it Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Jeremiah 50 verse 33 Thus saith the Lord the host the children of Israel and the children of of Judah were oppressed together all right so uh, the northern tribes which have been you so called Ephraimites you know the house of Ephraim you know going down to the Mexicans you know and then um, you know the southern kingdom which we you, uh, you so called Judah all right um, you know who were oppressed here in this Western Hemisphere you know and uh, you know oppressed were oppressed together and all that took them carried them captive held stuck it and all that took them carry all that that took them held them fast they refused to let them go you know so we were oppressed man you know and um you know that that's why the lord he's gonna he's gonna come and he's gonna redeem us right he's gonna buy us back you know from those who uh oppressed us man sorry i have to get my uh to get my glasses so i can Because we were, you know, carried captive, man. You know, so the Lord, He's gonna redeem us, right? And um, you know, that that word redeem, you know, is to buy back. I'm gonna get the Black's Law dictionary that I have here. It's very uh, edifying. All right. Let's look at that word redeem. Redeem, to buy back, to buy property or article from a mortgage or pledge, all right? The word mortgage, it means a death pledge, all right? Uh, and pledged by paying the debt for which it stood for which it uh stood as a security you know it says uh it's to pre it's to repurchase in a literal sense to redeem one's land from tax tax sales so the lord he's gonna redeem us right and we're gonna be exempt you know because uh you know the lord you know he he like he he gave up his life you know as a redeemable sacrifice for his elect you know 
because uh, you know the two thirds of our people and uh, those who uh, you know who's gonna f uh, who's gonna fall you know they're gonna you know like they're gonna have to come back you know through the loins of the of the life all right so uh, you know so the Lord he's gonna buy us back it says their Redeemer is strong yeah he is strong all right let's look at the word Redeemer in uh, the blue leather or the Strong's Concordance Redeemer Ga'al redeem uh, to redeem an act of to act as kinsman a kinsman that redeemer avenger yeah so the lord he's gonna be the avenger you watch that movie avenger with uh watch that that movie avenger with the whole marvel character you know with um like um athenos who had all the stones in his hand on his right and his left you know you know you know the lord's gonna be a high priest man you know, and we're gonna be a nation of high priests and kings. And I think Exodus 19 goes in that. Ransom to do that part of a kinsmanship. No, goes into that. We look at the tra different translation. Thus saith the Lord the host, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, 33, NKJV. Thus saith the Lord the host, the children of Israel were oppressed along with the children of Judah. All that took them captive had held them fast that they refused to let them go. It says uh, the NLT. This is what the Lord of heaven, the army says, the people of Israel and Judah have been wronged. Yeah, we were wronged, right? But ultimately, this was ultimately to uh, oppress us. And, um, you know, we had to pay for our sins, what we did, you know, in our past lives. And, you know, and that, that's why we're under the curses, you know, like we're not blessed, right? We are cursed, right? Because if you look at the word uh, "bless," you know, if you look at the etymology, you know, we are we are cursed, right? Because the Lord He set it up like that. The people of Israel and Judah have been wronged; their captives held them and refused to let them go, and that's what they do. You know, they bring in, um, you know, all these different. Uh, you know foreigners you know foreign nations you know to come to this land here in america and canada you know they buy all this land you know and uh and they and they uh you know they keep us down you know like they oppress us you know they do all kinds of things and this is uh this is off a, 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 a article that i was reading about the james crow laws you know uh, it wasn't just a Jim Crow law that was being done onto the tribe of uh, the Reubenites and uh, the natives, you know, you so-called Gadites and Reuben, you know, uh, also the Negroes too, all right, um, you know, and also uh, there was also that Jim Crow laws that was established during, you know, like with the Mexicans, you know, and they were oppressed together. This is, uh, you know, like Al Pacino, you know, which he's a Sicilian, but he played a, uh, he played uh, a Cuban with that whole uh, Scarface. So let's uh, look at this. A portraying Latino brown face on uh, on and off uh, off uh, screen, right? So this is what they do. This is Edomites who is portraying, you know, blackface. They have the ponchos, the hats, you know, and then these are the, the real ones, you know, the Mexicans, which have been the tribe of Ishakar, which means he is higher. All right, let's get it.
this will be flowing in the spirit. See where this Rakak Wadash is going to lead. Genesis 49 11. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Aren't we in the last days? Right? And, uh, you know, this shows you that Jacob was a prophet. You know, and uh, we believe that Jacob was Moses. You know, that Moses was David. And that, you know, um, you know, and vice versa, you know, you know, um, everybody's come back. Everybody came, everybody comes back in their lap. Gather yourself together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto your, hearken unto Israel, your father, right? So Israel, you know, that Jacob's name was surname Israel, which means Yah, he, Shar, Prince, Al, or Allah, Power, Yasha Allah, he is the Prince of the Power. Alright, so we're gonna get uh, with uh, Ishakar. Ishakar, uh, Genesis 49 and 14. Ishakar is a strong ass couch. So, uh, Ishakar is a, is a strong ass couching down couching down between two burdens right because um you know ishikar they work very hard you know i worked with uh, a lot of um latin tribes especially uh, mexicans you know worth uh, i was working at a meat factory you know and uh you know there are a lot of ishikarites you know but i got upgraded you know i became a driver <laughs> a big time you know but basically uh i was working with a lot of ishikarites or right? a lot of mexicans man they're very cool, you know, um, lively, you know, and, um, you know, they work very hard, man. You know, you, like, you're not going to outwork a, a Mexican, man. They work very hard, you know, but they take their siestas, you know, they, you know, you know, from like one to like three or whatever, you know, like they take their little rest, their siesta, they call it a siesta, you know. And he, uh, and he saw that the rest was good, and the land that is so, so it was so pleasant, and uh, bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute, right? Because you know, because you know, you know, on um, that like Mexico, um, you know, that what they call Mexico. You know, because basically, uh, I'm gonna get this map. You know, because uh, a lot of Ishikarites was already here. You know, like that's why they have, uh, you know, with the U.S. border and the Mexico, they have that border dispute. You know, because a lot of Mexicans are, uh, you know, a lot of them are escaping from poverty. You know, from from uh, war or uh, gang ridden areas and they're coming to establish themselves you know and um this is what they do man i'm gonna get this map of slack here yeah so you see this map you know this has been new spain you know that um basically you know we were uh because a lot of the moors you know like they came to the the, the world they came to the new world establish themselves and uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, we have like you know, like we be, be like we began, uh, like we began to fall, you know, with the whole uh, transatlantic slave trade, and uh, hundreds of years later, you know, Esau comes to power, you know, with uh, you know, with these conquistadors, and. Uh, you know, because all this there should be, you know, all this would be Mexico, or, or New Spain, you know, the British Isles, you know, the thirteen colonies, you know. So um, there's a lot of history, you know, that uh, you know the so-called history that you're not gonna learn with uh, this whole Black History Month and all that. You know from Esau you 
you know you have to do your own research and the Holy Spirit has to be guiding you and uh, so that, yeah Okay, I'm trying to open up this file again. So, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that scripture again. So, okay. Yeah. So Genesis. 49 and 15 and he uh, saw that rest was good and the land that it, it was plenty that it was it was pleasant you know with you read about the Aztecs you know um, they're you know with the whole uh, mound builders and all that they're very uh, it shows you that uh, you know like where those like where the Israelites you know who built the who built Egypt you know and uh you know basically uh 722 bc was when uh, our people with, were led into captivity under the assyrians and basically uh second ezra's 1340 goes into that you know they came to the new world new aster if i'm gonna get it and uh, bowed 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 his his shoulder to bear and became servant unto tribute right so uh, you know with the whole uh, you know conquistadors and uh, you know basically with the Jim Crow laws what was going on also you know Jim Crow laws it says uh, we serve white only not specs not Spanish or Mexicans, right? No dogs, Negroes, Mexicans. You know, it says uh, how to uh, set up a uh, voters register program. The first, uh, the first step to community uh, empowerment. It's a case says 1500 Mexican laid on uh, trains, right? So they were slaughtered, slaughtered, you know, with a massacre. This was a massacre, you know, upon uh, Ishakar. You know, and, uh, you know, it's a protest anti immigration laws, you know, and they're still fighting, right? Because all of this. You know California you know all these places where our people dwelt you know was our people's uh, you know it w this was our people's land all right Let me put it. all right let's get it you know so uh, you know Esau's a damn thief be in Mexico new or new Spain right you know, this whole region no so you really have to go into your whole maps and you know it's real man because there's a this land was established on uh, upon uh upon upon bloodshed I think I uh, get Micah I think Micah 2 Scripture says, Woe to the bloody city. Uh, 
just gonna get it wall to the bloody I think it's a name bloody city yes Nahum 3 and 1 Woe to the bloody city, it is all for the lies and, a, and robbery, the prey departeth not, right? So during the whole uh, Assyrian captivity too, and uh, now, you know, we're still in captivity, right? And, uh, you know, and they, and they took our people's land, resources, wealth, you know, and we're, uh, we're sovereign or like we're subject unto these devils, man. All right. Um, this is uh, and also uh, Micah two and uh, 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 this whole city was established upon uh, you know the bloodshed of the children of Israel. Right, who were uh, you know a sovereign? You know, you know we were uh, sovereigns. You know prior to us being colonized. All right, get numbers. Numbers 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is the fire of the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. All right, so you uh, you devils, man. You have a lot of crimes to pay for, man. And, um, you know, we know that you're a man of sin. You're the Edomites, all right? Hold on, let me show you this one second. You know, we were, you know, we were over here, you know, some of our people were already here in the Americas. And, uh, you know, we set up colonies and all that, you know, until uh, Esau came in and he, uh, he's a snake, a serpent, man. You know, this is a uh, thing with the Mayans, you know, and also uh, here in, uh, like, in, uh, look at, uh, like you look at the um, here in like like here in Louisiana, you know, with the whole uh, the whole Mardi Gras parade, you know, and also not in the Mardi Gras, but basically uh, what they do here in um, in um, um, like New Orleans, you know, like they do uh, you know on um, that like commemoration to uh, to our you know to our people, right? Because a lot of these a lot of these people they were. Um, you know, like you know, like they were here for many years, right? A sovereign, but uh, you know, you know, see all the gold and precious resources, and you know, you know, this is the Mayans, but uh, see the more right here, the more head. You know the Mayans and so so it's like our people were here some of our people were here too but eventually uh, we were colonized you know and uh, led into captivity through uh, the transatlantic slave trade one second yeah now now like look at this All right this is Esau or the wild man this was Esau man who uh, kind of civilized? He, 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 you know, when he was he, he, he was rising back up into power, you know, and looked like he had like two sons or whatever it was, you know, because you know Esau, he didn't have no civilized. He, Esau was like a wild man. And let's get it. Genesis uh, three. I'm gonna find that scripture. It said, "Upon thy belly shalt thou eat, and thus shall the serpent, like thus, yeah." Genesis three verse uh, thirteen, and the Lord 
power said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Right, because you know she, the serpent, you know, beguiled Eve, you know, and basically uh, Adam he followed suit, you know, and was getting to uh, things on the left hand side that we weren't supposed to practice, but it was ultimately it was set up, you know, to uh, cause now we're going, you know, now we're like we're uh, we're as gods now, knowing good and evil, right, and we're gonna get back the tree of life. We're not gonna have we're not gonna sin. And the Lord said unto the the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all the cattle, above every beast of the field. Right? And that's why uh, now, you know, we're eating all this GMO foods, you know, all these different types of creatures, you know, uh, mules. You know these basically artificial type meat and all this stuff and uh you know water you know the whole uh you know wildlife are dying plants are dying you know because it's the serpent you know isa and above every beast of the field and upon thy belly shalt thou go and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life and basically uh you know when esau was in power you know like with the greco-roman empire you know like they were very harsh man and they were very strong but when we came back to power you know with uh you read about you know the five good emperors and then uh, you read about like septimius severus you know israel came back to power for over a thousand years revelation 20, 20 goes into that you know and uh esau like Esau was in a lower state, right? Because we were in power, right? It says the 14th century, um, Strasbourg, Blackamoor defeated the German court, right? The wild man, see? You see, they have this, right? Like, they have like a crown or whatever, but this is, uh, they kind of whitewash this, but it says the wild man and the Moors taped, uh, so the wild man and the Moors tapestry of which part is uh, shown is typical of other 14th and 15th century uh, algor I said al algorithm al algorithmical pieces southern Germany right I don't know, this was Esau man wild man you know we're fighting against these damn beasts you know we reach I, I remember as a youth i always grew up watching uh that movie uh you know like fred flintstone with uh, i think uh it has like halle berry and all that you know that like, that was esau man a damn beast so we're fighting against these devils man you know we're like who the hell are these people you know you know even here too the slabs right? are because a lot of our people were still in power throughout europe and the americas all right slabs original slav uh for uh so so used in the second sense because of many slaves sold into slavery right because there was a whole transatlantic like a, 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 like there's a whole slave trade you know that like when we're in power man you know the slavs you know goes to that you could read you know but now look at us now you know let's get that scripture uh how is the goal become dim lamentations just flowing in the spirit see where the spirit's gonna lead lamentation four and one how is the gold become dim and how is the most fine gold charge uh change the stones of the sanctuary 
are poured out in the top of every street right because you know we're dying you know you know that we were very you know royal we we're very regal you know but we're in the lowest state the precious sons of zion compared to fine gold how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers you know it says the worker of the hands of potters you know and uh the precious sons of zion compared to fine gold hard they become esteemed as earthen pitchers the worker of the hands of the potter right? so we're in a low state man you know people don't know who the hell they are people you know are uh, you know our alternative lifestyle you know wearing dresses men want to be women women want to be men even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to the young ones. The daughters of my people have become cruel, like the ostrich in the wilderness, right? And that's what our people are doing with the whole uh, Planned Parenthood, abortion, you know, like the Dasher Belly, you know, what they call it in Jamaica, you know, a bunch of wickedness, man, you know, but even in slavery, you know, he, he, like he like he had the mammies, you know, who was feeding these damn devils, man. When, you know, like with their with their nipples, man, their titties. You know. Let's see, uh, it says they they that feed they that feed uh like that they that feed the delicate, delicately are. Are desolate in the streets right you know our people are homeless out here you know are you know people are catching hell you know out here in the Canada and America man you know they that were brought up in scarlet embrace dunghills man yeah so we are very raw very regal man you know so you see this is Esau you know two men so it shows that Esau is off. So this was the caveman, man. This is the wild man, man. See this, man? This was Esau, man. We, so we, we, we civilized these people, man. Now we clean them up. You know? You know, like now they have like the laser, like the laser hair removal. You know, <laughs> we're gonna get that Genesis. <laughs> Genesis 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. So we know that Isaac. In his uh, reincarnation, you know, he came back as, uh, you know, Melchizedek. You know, he came back as the, uh, you know, the angel who destroyed the Egyptians. You know, and uh, came back as, you know, King Solomon, and then Yahushai. You know, or Jesus, right? Yahushai. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca's wife conceived and the children struggled together within her and she said all right so you know she didn't know that you know she was pregnant or or that she found out you know that she knew she was pregnant but she didn't know that she had two different wombs all right she you know the children struggled together within her and she said if it be so why am I thus and she said and she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations, right? So, you know, they had, you know, they were two nations, right? They're fraternal twins, right? So, uh, you know, they, they have two different spirits, you know, and like two different bloodlines. The Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and the two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowel, and the one people shall be stronger than the other right and we're obviously stronger man you know and the elder shall serve the younger right right and 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 and, and like the elder is esau man 
and he's got the Cerebus. Right? That's why it says uh, Second Ezra uh, six and uh, nine says uh, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's beginning of it that follows. So we're seeing the end of their world. You know, we're actually being ruled under a Neanderthal or a caveman, an Edomite. We're being we're being ruled by these people, man. See all this, man. This is Esau, man. A wild man, and you know. So you know, like this was like the Bigfoot, man. That you know. This was Esau, man. This was Esau, bro. Beast. And when he, when her days, when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, so he had no uh, melanin, no, he had no pigmentation, all right, he had, you know, he had Edomites who came out first, or Esau, which means wasted away, all right, he didn't have no pigmentation, and all over like a hairy garment, all right, he wasn't actually hairy, all right, but he was, uh, you know, he was just red, right? He was very, he was, he didn't have no pigmentation. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob, right? Because Jacob means supplant. So, like Jacob or supplant. Um, like we're gonna take away their whole feet, their whole foothold, you know. You know, I'm like that's why that name Jacob means to supplant. Okay, we're gonna supply Esau, man. We're gonna take away his whole, uh, his whole foot, man. His whole leg, <laughs> you know. His toes, his foot, man. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. So, uh, you know, like, that's why Esau does. Esau is always into hunting, you know, every day. He's out there in the wild, you know, hunting anything, man. You know, like, you know, like, like that's the characteristics of Esau. And a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man doing the tent. So we're just a laid back, coke, you know, have wine, you know and uh you know have children you know and just relax you know and i believe uh plain means would it be uh in the hebrew i think to my let's get it this thing's not so like yeah this is this, the prince of the air. So, okay, I'm trying to look for this uh, plane, but it's not making me. What's well, alright? No, this was Esau, man. This was Esau, man. The caveman. <laughs> no, but we're in the lowest state. You know, and uh, a lot of the Reubenites and um, the House of Judah, you know, a lot of them were freeing, like like a lot of the like a lot of the Ishikarites or the Mexicans, you know, from uh, you know from these conquistadors, man. You know, our people were being lynched. You see that? Latino in the prison system all right so uh, this is prophecy man I think it Isaiah um, it says it says uh, that prison houses like yeah one second It's an Isaiah. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled, and they are 
all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses and that's what's going on you know with uh, the prison industrial complex with the sin card you know um you know we're basically numbers on the stock market you know we're we're in very low estate you know and uh you know we're being oppressed you know by this you know by esau man. you know they are all they are, are for a prey and none none and none delivereth but spoileth and none self restore all right and i'm gonna get probably our next last scripture lord's will um songs of solomon songs of solomon one and uh started at uh, six i am black right so he's yeah solomon was very dark dark skin i am black but calmly so i'm black and beautiful right all right because when you look at this it's gonna say wow wow when you look at the translation I am black Shakar Aya but Nawa a mafia right, so I'm black and I am black and beautiful or black and calmly O ye daughters of Jerusalem, right? So you know that Jerusalem would be in, uh, you know, the whole nation of Israel, right? As the tent of Kedar and as the curtains of Solomon. So they're very dark, you know. On, on that Kedar was a region in Arabia where they, they, they were very dark, right? Look not upon me because I am black. Right, which means dark because the sun have looked upon me my children said my mother's children were angry with me they made me the keepers of the vineyard all right and that's what's going on man you know they have our people in these uh you know doing this farm work you know and you have these uh, latin tribes you know they, they have a lot a lot of the west indians especially the jamaicans here and um there's a whole bunch of them on the damn farm work program but that's good for them because a lot of our people are uncle tom but ultimately this is the ultimately this is to um apply this ultimately like to punish our people right you know like for what we have did done i probably send i probably share this link the Jamaica farmer program yeah I'm probably gonna make you guys uh, this is guys names that like Brandon Gomez this guy he's uh he's like a news uh, he was out uh, he was he was working for city news but I guess he's doing his own thing and I'm gonna um, I'm not gonna stock it I'm just gonna share this link so like, yeah yeah i'm gonna share this link man because you know a lot of our people feel like a lot of people are uncle tom's too eh? but um says look not upon me because i am black because the sons have looked upon me my mother children were angry with me they made me the keepers of the vineyard but my own vineyard have I not kept and that's what's going on man and here in the Niagara region right that whole region man there's a lot of wine man they have our people doing all the work and ultimately like soon like, they won't need our people to do this work because they're gonna have the robots that's gonna do all the work man you know and this was uh you know like this is the hate 
you know, like what they've been doing unto our people, man. You know, second, that's Songs of Solomon 1 and 6. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. And my own vineyard have I not kept, right? So, you know. So we're doing all these people, all this hard work. Want to get that. Want to get Genesis 49 and I'm um, going to close. And that's why, too, a lot of our people, a lot of the West Indians, when they come to America, like they kiss the white man's ass and they like to talk down upon the so called Negro, right? Oh, no, Yankee, you know, Yankee boy, them, blah blah blah. They talk all kind of shit, right? And uh, you're, 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 and you're really working for slave damn wages, man, you know. A lot of our people are them ass kiss kissers, man. This is Genesis 49 and, and 27, right? Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, and in the morning he shall devour the prey, right? So, um, you know, that that's what's, what happened with the whole, um, also, uh, you know, with the whole music, you know. We have the ding-dong ravers and rockers. You watch that movie, The Rockers. And also with the whole... Um, you know the slave revolts you know the maroons you know which i mean uh, a lot of them are the arawaks the arawaks who's mixed who who mix with the spanish right um you know you know our people right and um uh, you know they were very uh you know strong you know they fought you know you know they still uh you know like they're still sovereign you know, and basically, uh, you know, they're very, uh, you know, like, um, like they defeated like the British, you know, in uh, a lot of, uh, you know, in uh, many wars, you know, and basically a lot of them, like, you know, like some of them, uh, like some of them went to Nova Scotia, and then uh, eventually, like, some of them. You know, they like they, like some of them went to Africa, you know, like Sierra Leone and vice versa, right? And then the night he shall divide the spoil, right? So the, the, the whole like maroons, you know, they did a lot of a lot of a lot, like a lot of plundering, man. You know, so um, yeah, probably is gonna close. You know, so we're actually under uh, the Neanderthal man or Esau man. We're in a very low state. You know, this is the Moors fighting against uh, the wild man, Esau, shooting some arrows and his blood clad. Yeah, that's Esau man. But now look at us now. We're in a low state, man. I think gonna get this. See this, and that's what Esau's are. You know, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, that's why the Lord's gonna have to get rid of them, man. After that thousand years, man. Cause they're totally off. Okay, yeah, lamentation uh, four and. Uh, Six, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that that was overthrown in in a moment. No, no, not handing. No hands stay on them. All right. So you know, you know, you know what's going on now. You know this is worse what's going on man with this whole uh the alternative lifestyle and things what they're pushing on the people you don't even know who's a man from who's a woman you have this little like you have this little nas x who, who has like the ah man this is a whole mess man that's why the lord has to come 
or Nazareth were purer than snow, right? Which are pure, they're, you know, like they're, you know, like they weren't white, you know, but they're, it's basically they were very pure, all right? And that's why Esau wants to call himself white because he wants to act like he's the pure man. But you're the, you know, just like you're this man. You're the wild, you're the caveman, Esau, man. You know? Their visage are blacker than a coal, so they're very dark. Like they that are not known, they are not known in the streets. Right? And we're in very low state, man. You know, like you know, like they look down on us, man. These tribes are stuck at like, like these other nations, you know. Especially the black man, man. They are not known in the streets. They their skin cleaveth to their bones, like as a wither. It is become as a stick, right? And basically, Exodus, I mean Ezekiel, like thirty-seven goes into that you know the but the dry bones you know can these can these bones live all right because we're in a very low state now man all right but we're living all right we're living now you know the, like the hopeful elect is living now so uh with that I like to say our praise is due unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai Bashim Rakakwadash, the launch of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of that. Hopefully, this video is edifying. Uh, shalom.